Welcome to the almost finished uh, Branson Lakes Area Chamber of Commerce and Convention and Visitors Bureau building. I don't think all of that's going to fit on the sign, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to work on that. Follow along with me. I'll take you around the building. A couple of uh, interesting points of this uh, new office and Welcome Center is really about uh, bringing light into the building, flexible workspace, and flexible conference space. So there's a ton of meetings that we host, uh, not in our own building today, that we really should be having in our own facility. And so uh, what this building does for us and the business community is give us a place to do what you expect us to be doing. Uh, because right now we don't have the right facility, it's not sized correctly. So we're very excited about uh, uh, just right here on the first level, these three uh, new conference rooms. They're 10 person conference rooms. Uh, and they'll have video conferencing ability, all equipped with AV uh, presentation equipment. And so uh, as we're hosting uh, different meetings or the business community is hosting different meetings, they have the opportunity to use uh, these rooms. This is a space for electronic meeting room management. And so you'll come up here and say, oh, this particular room is taken um, with this particular meeting. Or if you need a book a room, you can do it right here from the pad. We've got secure areas for our finance and administration uh, team. So they'll have uh, the ability to lock this all down uh, for files and uh, HR. A lot of people don't know, but in our current building, it goes down about one and a half floors down. And there's uh, a lot of great people that do great work down there. And this is kind of, this will be their workspace here. So this is a room where people are gonna come together and, and assemble welcome bags or welcome kits or all the things that uh, we produce. Um, this is what this is what this room is for. Also downstairs right now uh, in the current facility we uh, do a lot of mail processing, we do uh, vacation guide processing and so uh, this room is dedicated to all of the mail that comes in and out for uh, to communicate with all of our visitors, our travel planners around the country. Um, this is where all that will happen. I, I'm making light of this, but uh, this is one of the coolest rooms in the building because no longer do we only have one restroom. Uh, now we have more than one restroom. <laughs> so very exciting. It's a big deal, especially when we have a lot of visitors coming by and uh, there's a line in the restroom. And I'm really uh, pleased with how this turned out. This is our multi-purpose room. So about 125 seats, uh, classroom style here in this room and you can divide it into two uh, so this will also ha have all of the uh, AV equipment uh, as you would expect uh, but uh, our larger meetings that we're not able to host currently in our building we will now be able to do that. One of the unique uh, factors here for the Welcome Center is you can see the doors are quite large and, and that's meant so we could bring in uh, whether it's a a classic car during one of the car shows that are going on or a boat for one of the, the fishing uh, events that are happening uh, so this as you can see we can have the flexibility to program this space in multiple ways uh, which includes bringing in different pieces of equipment so all of energy efficient lighting so all LED lighting throughout the building which is awesome Really cool platform here. So as we have entertainers and guests uh, or large events, this space opens up. So as you come upstairs, uh, a nice feature here uh, is all of the glass. And so that's the theme of bringing light into the building. So you can enjoy the great outdoors from inside. One of the more popular questions we get is what is the rust on the outside of the, the Welcome Center building? And uh, thankfully, uh, no, it's not a warranty issue. Um, actually, this product is called Weathered Steel Core 10. And so about nine to 12 months, it will finally kind of start getting its full shape, uh, or I should say color and texture. And so it will continue to rust over the next eight to 12 months. Upstairs also has uh, our boardroom. And so uh, this is where the board of directors meet, uh, all the other uh, large board style meetings uh, that we host. Now we have a, a sizable room to do that. Everyone can actually squeeze into this boardroom and like the boardroom we have now. So that's exciting. This is a break room. 
So right now we have a break room, but it's downstairs, two floors. This brings uh, the, the flexibility of uh, informal meetings. So Chris, if you want to come over and have a cup of coffee and we want to discuss business, this is where we could do that a little more informally. And it's very popular in offices around the world today. <laughs> Not every meeting has to be so formal. Uh, this actually room back here is our uh, phone room, also nursing mother's room. Uh, it's something uh, we continually uh, need to address. And so having a dedicated space is, is very important to us. So uh, this open office area uh, here will seat 20 people. Uh, and then we have 13 uh, smaller offices around the, the perimeter. Again, you're bringing, we're bringing light in from all directions. Another flexible workspace is the patio. And uh, this is meant uh, for, uh, again, another informal meeting space or workspace on beautiful days, taking advantage of the beautiful Branson uh, Ozark Mountains. And, uh, you know, come over for coffee. We can have an informal meeting. We can do it right out there. The ways we designed this is really just to be open. Uh, and so to provide uh, more comfortable space. And that's actually saved a lot of money. <laughs>